The line between work and home life is somewhat blurrier than ever, but there is a way to balance things out and bring some calm back into your life. Dr. Sylvie Shuttleworth is a licensed clinical psychologist who uses routines to support mental wellness. Good morning, Dr. Shuttleworth. Thanks for being Good with morning. us. Thanks for having me. Well, we want to get to the most important question. Why are routines so important for our mental health? Yeah, and I appreciate you asking that because I think it's something we might take for granted. As a clinical psychologist, it's something I talk with my clients, with my patients regularly. I'm a big advocate for routines. And let me explain why. It, it's pr it brings some consistency to us, some predictability. And with that, it'll help to manage our moods, decrease our stress, and improve our relationships. So there's two big pieces here. One is when you have a routine, you feel grounded, you feel centered, you feel like you're right where you're supposed to be in that moment. Right now, particularly, life can feel quite unpredictable. So it brings some predictability to one's um, experiences. And the more you feel like you know what to expect, you feel like you're in control, that helps to decrease your anxiety. And then the second piece is when you have these routines in place, you're actually more likely to have pro-social healthier behaviors. For example, um, maybe having uh, workouts built into your schedule, a particular time that you're going to bed, so you have sleep hygiene, and the way you're eating, your diet, your meals, so you feel like you're being more efficient with your time, you see yourself doing these positive healthy choices, that increases your confidence, then in turn that decreases your feelings of low mood or anxiety and stress. Nowadays, a lot of us might live in a maybe less traditional home setting. We might have uh, very young children or maybe an older adult in our home. What do we do to actually make a routine happen when we have a household full of people? Yeah, great point. Um, and the family structure is so unique these days. So for a lot of us, we might have young children in the home or be caring for um, some elderly folks. So one of the things that we notice with children and with the elderly is that there may be a loss of independence or autonomy. So in building routine or structure, we want to bring them into that conversation. We want to ask them, well, how do they want to set up their routine? How do they want to contribute? Maybe there's particular tasks for example, kids want to help out with chores around the house, or maybe someone decides that they would like to do this aspect of the day before that aspect of the day. So the more that we can bring routine and predictability into folks that maybe have less independence in their life, that can bring increased security and a sense of more autonomy because they were part of building that structure. So I think a big piece is having that conversation together in a collaborative way where those individuals whether they're our youth or those at the inner stages of life, that they're part of those decision making. And now we are humans, so we might fall yeah. out of that routine from time to time. And maybe <laughs> we also want to switch things up, but when do we know it's a good time to do that? Yeah, and I really appreciate how you said that, that we're human so that we can have that compassion for ourselves to, to be flexible and know that it's not going to be the same way every day. Holidays come up, vacations, things come up in our families. And I think looking at routines as a baseline, something we always know is there, we can go back to, but being flexible, allowing for spontaneity. Um, the other piece I like to think about is we have such unique schedules right now, um, particularly with lots of folks working from home and trying to build your schedule or your routine where maybe seeing this as a silver lining that you have a little bit more flexibility to build in little pieces of joy within your schedule that maybe you wouldn't have been able to if you were commuting to work every day, for example. Great advice on routines and our mental wellness. Thanks so much, Dr. Sylvie Shuttleworth with Bastyr University. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. We'll be right back.